Giants. Oh, yeah, elephants, hippos, rhinos, lions, giraffes. I love hiking with the giant creatures of Africa. Hey, it's great to be back at Animal Junction. We've just been on a giant hike. Hmm, look up there. Those leaves would be a great snack for Zabu. He loves them. But I need to be a giant like a giraffe to get those. A giraffe is really tall, and that helps him eat the leaves from the tall trees. Need some help, Chris? Sure. Hop on! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Great idea, Martin! <laughs> 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 How you doing up there, Chris? <laughs> Being a giant has its advantages. A lot of good leaves up here. Do you feel like a giraffe? Yeah, I'm up here at Giraffe Hike getting leaves. And I'm not alone. Zabu's here. Hey, Zabu, how are you doing up there? We're coming down. Good leaves down here, too. So, Zabu. Who'd you see in the forest today? Well, you know Zabu. He never talks until he's filled his belly. I'll be right back. All right. Do you want a snack? What do you think Martin's gonna get for you? <laughs> yeah! Zabu, you want some mimosa leaves? Yeah! He loves those. Give me some of the food! <laughs> How are you there? I love those yummy leaves. They make me do big burps. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it, Zob. <laughs> Why don't you tell us who you saw in the forest instead? Oh, uh, I saw an amazing furry creature who's coming this way. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had a big square head with two big teeth. And then he disappeared underwater. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. And this creature could swim. I mean, really swim. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A giant, swimming, plant eating creature. Do you know who he is? Okay, so he is furry, furry, furry with a stubby tail. Square head with long, long teeth. Cough sparks, eats grass. Oh, yeah, it's a capybara. Mr. Animal's here. He's a giant like me. Can you believe that? And there's three of them. What mungot secret creatures? Wow, look at his funny walk. He's a giant who can jump. I can't believe my mind. <laughs> Whoa, what a jump. Great job. What do you think about this copy of bars, Abu? Wow, he's really giant. Yeah. Yeah, giant like dinosaurs are giant. <laughs> Look at this guy. Definitely one of my favorite giants. The copy bar is a giant rodent. There's none bigger. Giant rodents. I love giant rodents. What's a rodent? Okay, rodents are furry little creatures with big front teeth who love to chew. Okay, so squirrels are rodents and mice are rodents. Yeah, Zob. Rodents are really great creatures, but they're mostly pretty small. Check out the difference. Now that is one giant rodent. 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 It sounds my mouth funny. Hey, Cappy, 
You're way bigger than a mouse. And you're bigger than me, too. But you're not a giant. Monk, Sika! Here comes one of the most giant creatures I've ever seen. It's Toothbrush. <laughs> He's a giant. Yeah, almost as big as a dinosaur. Huh? Wow, you really are big. Toothbrush is my elephant friend. African elephants are big, all right, Zob. In fact, they're the biggest land mammals in the world. And you know, when other animals like gazelles see elephants coming down to the watering hole, they usually get out of the way. Being a giant, an elephant needs to drink a lot of water. 480 glasses a day. And she picks up all that water with her amazing trunk. I wonder what else an elephant can pick up with his trunk. Maybe even Chris. That was funny. Over here, Sub. Do you think an elephant could pick me up if I grew this big? I'm the biggest crat. That makes me a giant, too. I'm a giant amongst crats. How'd he do that? Hey, Animal Junction is looking a little small. Dinosaurs! Please talk about dinosaurs! <laughs> How about those giant feet? A capybara has four toes on each front foot and three toes on each back foot. How many do you have, Zabu? Well, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, five on each hand. And my feet, too. See? One, two, three, four. Hey! Oh, there you are. <laughs> I scared myself. Oh. Hold it, Capybara. Don't eat that guitar. How about an apple? I guess he likes it. A capybara is an herbivore. That means he eats all kinds of things like grass, plants, fruit, and vegetables. Have you ever ate an apple with a capybara? <laughs> hmm, giant creatures must have giant bellies. So I bet they're still hungry. I better get her a snack. All right, Zob. You hungry? I'll feed her, and you can help. No, not rhinoceros. Not walrus. Uh-uh. <laughs> not mouse. Giant mouse, maybe. <laughs> ah, here it is. Capybara. There's three capybaras. I'll hit it three times. Come and get it. Happy bears always seem to take their time, don't they? Whoa, here comes somebody in a hurry. A red kangaroo. Wow, let's go say hi. Hey, kangaroo. How do you do? Oh, oh. Uh -huh. oh he's so tall. He's as tall as my tallest jump. Red kangaroos are six feet tall. The giants of the kangaroos. What about tall dinosaurs? We're giants. Weird. I know the capybaras love grass. Then why isn't she eating it? Maybe she's not hungry. Hmm? Or maybe she likes a different kind of grass. Ah. I'll go get some. <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh. Close one. <laughs> How'd this get here? Wow, that's wet. <laughs> Martin, you're all wet. <laughs> and I think the capybara likes the wet water. He's going in. Swimming with the capybaras. Water's too wet for me. Too wet for me today, anyway. Come on in, Chris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. 
capybara is just as at home in the water as he is on land. I've never seen rodents that can swim like that. Capybaras will eat grass on land, but they really like to eat it in the water. They eat grass, like I eat leaves. But I like mine dry. <laughs> There he goes, underwater, let the capybaras! How can he breathe underwater? He doesn't breathe underwater, Zob. A capybara holds his breath. Capybaras have incredible nose control. They can even close their nose when they go underwater, like this. And a capybara can hold his breath for up to five minutes. Wow, look at his webbed feet. Yeah, webbing makes a creature's foot bigger, and that makes it better for paddling. Bigger feet swim better. Yahoo, capybaras, capybaras. I love capybara-ish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel capybara-ish. How about you, capybara-ish? Feeling capybara-ish. Capybara-ish. I'm a water-loving giant splashing all around. You know, there are a lot of giants around here today. And here comes another giant plant eater, a camel. Only an animal junction. Come in, camel. The camel's happy now. <gasps> a yak. I think the camel likes me. <laughs> yeah, and a yak likes grass. He's a giant who lives on giant mountains. Wow, who's he? Hey guys, who's the giant cat? Well, Zah, the Siberian tiger is the biggest cat in the world. But there are lots of giants in the cat family, like the leopard, the largest of the tree climbing wildcats. Hey, and don't forget lions. A mountain lion's a big cat, too. And the white tiger is huge and really rare. Well, there's a big cat right behind you. A Siberian tiger. How did she get in here? Wow, she's such a giant. How can we miss her? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A Siberian tiger is the giant of the cats. She reminds me of another orange giant from when I was in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When I heard somebody say, Hey, Zabu Badu Badu. Huh? <laughs> You'll never see me here. <laughs> hey, who said that? It's me, Bugly. Oh, hi, <laughs> Bugly. Hey, want to go for a ride on the back of a giant bug? Well, yeah. I, whoa, yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> whoa, yeah. I never knew that go. giant bugs could run so fast. Oh, yeah. It's because I have many legs, whoa. and every one of them is a giant leg. Oh, giant bugs do everything in a big way. <laughs> yeah. Wow. My giant legs help me run all day. <laughs> oh. Hey, but Duga 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 Bay, huh? do you want to go for a flyby to see a giant friend? Oh, yeah. Well, let's buzz off for a bug's eye view, my little leaping lemur. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. And then we flew around and around the most giant creature in Zabu Land. Whoa. She's the biggest giant of them all. Mama, Mama Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Zabu. Hi, Bugly. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. The end. <laughs> Bye-bye, Giants. Come back any time. See you later, Capybaras. Bye. Giants are always welcome at Animal Junction. Whoa, incoming! Duck! Ooh. Wow. If he's a duck, he's the biggest duck I've ever seen. <laughs> he's not a duck, Zabu. He's a golden eagle. And he's a really fast bird. Yeah, golden eagles can fly as fast as 200 miles per hour. 200 miles per hour? How fast is that? That's fast. As fast as a race car. A race car? Hey. Wow. Message from Jackie. What is a race car? The animal helpers and I thought, what's the best way to make a giant tree? By planting a small tree. 
So we planted a tree in my backyard. And someday this little tree will grow into a big tree, like that tree. And a big tree is a home to squirrels, raccoons, and birds. But this tree's got lots of growing to do first. Hey guys, do all giants start off small? Or are some giants born giants? That's a good question. What babies are big? Moose! Do you want to take a trip? They're Let's going go. to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. All right, Zob, this one's for you. Hmm? Ready, Martin. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Eyes up! We'll be back soon. Bye, guys. Tiger's gonna teach me how to growl. <laughs> Kayaking is a great way to find a certain kind of giant. The biggest of all the deer, the moose. Moose love the water. They even have wide feet to help them swim. So keep your eyes peeled for a big furry blob grazing in the water. Let's go! And a hungry one, too. Moose love to eat water plants. They stick their faces underwater and grab plants with their big lips. Chris, let's try it. You're on, bro! I think I'll leave that way of eating to the moose. Yeah, I think you'd be hungry most of the time. I know. But moose lips are great for grabbing as many water plants as that giant deer needs. Moose lips are so strong, they can clean all the leaves off a branch in one swipe. Like this. Ow! <laughs> you need moose lips. With one swipe of the head, moose lips can clean the leaves off a branch. getting in on the eating action, too. Eating the right kind of leaves is an important thing for a moose calf to learn. Leaves like maple, ash, and birch are all good for a moose. It'll take a lot of eating the right kind of leaves to turn this little calf into a big moose, a giant among deer. Hey, Chris, there's another giant we weren't even looking for. Giant mosquitoes! It's time to get out of here. To the kayaks! Junction. Something's going on here. Do you want to find out what? Come on. Rawr! The Siberian tiger. Martin, Chris, the tiger and me are roaring. You want to hear? Yeah, sure thing, Zob. You want to make tiger sounds too? <coughs> Rawr! Zabu? True tiger potential. Roar about dinosaurs, please! I like tiger sounds like I like tiger pouncing. And this tiger likes pouncing on balls. So, which do you think a tiger likes playing better? Soccer or basketball? Let's find out. Uh-oh. Oh, she popped 
Lift it. I'll call you Popper. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, that's it for the soccer ball. What else we got? Let's see. Hmm. How about a basketball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Sabu. <laughs> nice shot. Thanks. Uh oh. Oh. She popped another one. Oh, not again. <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do now? I got a ball. I hope Popper doesn't pop this one. Here, Popper. Oh. <sighs> Popper popped our last ball. That was her last ball. Now the Tigers pounced on and popped all the balls at Hannibal Junction. <laughs> oh. Wow, she's got giant teeth like dinosaurs. Yes, huh? And one dinosaur who had really giant teeth was T-Rex. And Triceratops had a giant head plate and horns for protection against the giant teeth of T-Rex. And we can't forget about the duck-billed dinosaurs who had giant bills on their faces. And of course, there was Ankylosaurus. He had a giant club tail that he probably used to scare off enemies. Long ago, the world was filled with giants. Yay! Dinosaurs! Thank you, thank you, thank you! That reminds me of more dinosaurs I saw in Zabu Land. I was leaping <laughs> along. Leap, leap, leap. And the ground shook! I jumped into a tree to see what was going on. It was my giant friend, Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Sabu. She said, I have a joke for you. Want to hear it? Okay, I'm ready. Do you know why dinosaurs are extinct? Hmm. No, why are dinosaurs extinct? Oh, it's because our eggs stink. <laughs> well, Zabumafuasaurus <laughs> thought this was so funny, she started to laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. She laughed so hard, she started to shake, and I slipped off her head and slid all the way down her back. Whee! <laughs> Let's do that again. Yeah, again. And we did. Again and again and again. And we had so much fun. <laughs> There's nothing like sliding down the back of a giant friend. Again, Zabumafuasaurus. <laughs> the end. <laughs> That's my mom. Playing with giants is great. You're right, Zob. I love giant creatures, like tigers. Giants, giants rule! rule. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his spiny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! What's up, Zob? Still feeling capybarish? Actually, I was wondering, do you maybe have some yummy leaves? They'd be a nice goodbye snack. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> this looks like a job for... Whoa, Mark! A giant Whoa. crab! How do you do that? Thanks, bro. How's the weather up there? Fantastic. Here you go, Zob. Ah, leaves. Green is a yummy color. <laughs> Excuse me. Bye, Crat Brothers. See you later, Zabu. Happy jumping. What now, Chris? Hmm. Hey, I bet there are some giants in the mountains that we can see before sundown. Let's get going. We'll see you later. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Giants, here we come. Hi, I'm Hannah. This is my cat named Zabu. Pet.
minutes. Whew, that was fun. Creature adventuring by canoe is great. There are so many incredible creatures out there. Yeah, and the only way to see them is to get out there and get lucky. <laughs> what the? All right, look. This place is crawling with pets. But where'd they come from? Whose pets are they? There are all kinds of pets here. Puppies. Kittens. Dogs. Ducklings. Hamsters. Hermit crab. Guinea pigs. Goldfish. Cats. Maybe Zabu knows something about this. Let's call him. Zabu! Zabumafu! Zabu! Zabumafu! Zabumafu! He's here! <laughs> We're gonna have fun! Hey Zabu, do you know whose pets these are? Have you seen them before? Slow down, Zabu! We have to figure this out. Come on, Zabu! Do you recognize any of these creatures? We'll never get a straight answer, or an answer at all, until we give Zabu a snack. You know Zabu. There we go. Zabu, banana! Come on. There you go. We all love bananas. OK, one more little piece. There you go. How you doing? Animal Junction's really busy. <laughs> Zabu, you filled up with bananas yet? Yep, I'm all vooky. Hey, guys, what's the party for? It's not lemur day yet. Zabu, we got here and the place is crawling with pets. Yeah, but we don't know whose pets they are. <gasps> duck! Yeah, pet dog. No, 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 duck. duck! Incoming! Duck! Chris, over there. Duck! <laughs> She's early today. It's Moonface. The barn owl mm -hmm. with a special delivery. Hi guys, this raccoon's mother died when he was just a baby. So our parents helped us raise him. Now he's old enough to take care of himself. So we're taking him to his new forest home. That's where we brought our pets over to Animal Junction. Thanks for taking care of them until we get back. All 19 of them. Aha, so these are the animal helpers pets. Let's make sure they're all here. Let's count them. All right, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Um, nine, ten, eleven, eight. What comes after eleven? Twelve, 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 twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Wait a second, there's supposed to be 19 pets. One's missing. Who could it be? <gasps> Manga Tsika! My mind almost forgot! I saw a creature just outside. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? She had a long, flicky tail with a little clump of fur on the end. And she made a funny sound when I saw her. A sound that sounded like... <coughs> who could it be? This animal <coughs> who I did see. <coughs> and her feet. They were really hard. <coughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess? This mystery! A black and white spotted moor. Do you know who she is? Big wet nose. Slobbery tongue. Goes. Mm. Oh, Manga Tsika, mystery animals here. Oh. <laughs> a baby cow, a calf. That's the missing pet. 
She was outside the whole time. And of course, because a calf needs a lot of room to run around. <laughs> Look at her go. Whoa. <laughs> Even little calves like to play. <laughs> play, play, play. <laughs> what do you think of that, huh? Have you ever seen a bouncing calf before? 19, all here. Right, Zob, this calf is the last pet of the bunch. Yep, yep, everybody's here now. Now that everybody's here, let's meet the pets. Check out these little ducklings. <laughs> if you have a duckling as a pet, you have to make sure they have a place to swim, because ducklings love the water. Look at those little feet. They're great at paddling through the water. Ducks love the water. So if you have one as a pet, you need to have a place where she can swim around. A goldfish. What an amazing creature to look at. And as long as you give him an underwater world like this, clean water, and a little food every now and then, you have a great creature buddy for a long, long time. Wow, goldfish. I think a rabbit is one of the cutest pets you can have. Look at him. Look at his twitchy little nose. Twitch yours. Uh, my nose is twitchy too. Puppies! <laughs> Kittens! Kittens love to be petted and scratched. Look at that incredible balance. See? He doesn't fall off. <laughs> You're giving him practice, Martin. Yes, yeah, Zob. But the most important thing to give any pet is love. That's one of the things about a pet. She always needs something. And she depends on you to take care of her. Well, I want to take care of pets. It'll be easy. All right. Well, first thing up is feeding time. Yeah. Feeding time! Feeding time! Oh, feeding time. <laughs> Hey, everybody, time for a snack. I want to feed the puppies. Here, I got you the best carrot I could find. What's the matter? It's good. Some puppies don't eat carrots. Mm. When you have a pet, you have to make sure you feed her the right kind of food, food that's good for that kind of creature. So what do you feed a puppy? <laughs> yeah, puppy food. Come and get it. Everybody. Feeding pets good food is important for making them strong and healthy. Oh yeah, they eat puppy food. I knew that. Hey Zaboomafu, the kittens are hungry too. Come in, Chris. And kittens get kitten food. Ready guys? Eat up. They all want some. They're hungry, huh? Whoops. Can I try some? Sure, Zob. All right. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Are you sure uh, they wouldn't rather have a carrot? Yeah, Zob, they don't eat carrots. Oh, okay. I'm sure Zabu will find a pet that wants a carrot. It's chow time, buddy. Ooh, she looks hungry. What's she eating? Fish food, Zob. You want to try some? Oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, are you sure goldfish wouldn't rather have a carrot? I don't think so, Zob. Look, she looks pretty happy eating this fish food. She does. But I have to be careful not to feed her too much. Just a pinch a day. I think even a pinch would be too much. <laughs> Next up, hermit crabs. Hermit crabs eat special hermit crab food. Zabu, you want to try some? Uh, no thanks. I've tried enough food for one day. <sighs> for a special treat, you can give your hermit crab a piece of lettuce. Oh, well, lettuce is good. Are you sure you don't want to try some yummy carrot? <sighs> Doesn't anybody in Animal Junction like carrots? Oh! <laughs> Chris, look! <laughs> I found someone who likes carrots. A rabbit. Well, go ahead, eat up. Here you go. Yeah, eat as much as you like. The rabbit really loves it, Zob. Yeah, I 
knew someone wanted this carrot. <laughs> no, don't suck on my fingers. Here, try the bottle. Yeah, milk's okay, too. This entire slurping away. She hasn't even stopped to take a breath. <laughs> I know. You want to try a little something? Oh, sure. Uh... Here you go, Zob. Mm. Ah. Woo! Milk's okay. <laughs> she needs a little more. She's sucking on my fingers again. There we go. All right. All the pets have full bellies, at least for a little while. <laughs> the feeding time's over. Well, what time is it now? Well, Zob, it's time to walk the pets. Every pet needs to get out and exercise their muscles. And if they live indoors, a walk is a good chance for them to get out and pee and poo outside instead of in the house. Sometimes you can walk a dog without a leash, and sometimes you walk a dog with a leash. Oh, come here. There you go. All right, right around here. How are you doing, buddy? I want to walk him. Here. You do? OK, Zah. Oh, thanks. Let's go, doggy. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, slow down, slow. Whoa! 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 Pets like guinea pigs, hamsters, and hermit crabs don't need to be taken on walks outside. But you do have to make sure their cages have plenty of room so they can exercise. And it doesn't hurt to take them outside for a run sometimes. Just watch them really closely to make sure they're safe and watch your step. Whoa, this taking care of pets is harder than I thought, but fun. Cats get their own exercise, and they also do their business in a litter box. Okay, so she's doing her business, business, and everybody else has had some exercise. So, hmm, what's next? Clean up time. <laughs> One thing that's really important when you have a pet is to keep their homes nice and clean. Especially for animals who live in their cages, like goldfish, hamsters, guinea pigs, hermit crabs. These animals go in their cages, so you have to clean them often. Taking care of pets is a big responsibility, but it can be fun, too. OK, let's clean the kitty litter box. Yeah, this sure needs cleaning. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, 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 no. I think I can stop it. And uh, walked in, uh, cleaned. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that means it's playtime! Ah! Oh, it's playtime! It's playtime! I'm feeling pettish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel pettish. How about you, pettish? Pet, pet, pettish. I'm feeling kind of pettish. I'm a really great buddy, and I love to play with you. Pets need playtime just like we do. Pettish. Pet, pet, pettish. I'm feeling kind of pettish. I'm a really great buddy and I love to play with you. One of the best things you can do for your pet is to spend a lot of time with her and be her best friend. I like that. <laughs> pettish. Uh, taking care of pets makes me tired. Oh. Um. <sighs> I was dreaming a long dream, 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 dream. dream. <gasps> suddenly... Uh... Hey, Zabu! Are you sleeping? <laughs> well, I guess I'm not now. Oh, good, because Sansa needs help taking care of the Oh, okay. But where are they? So I looked around, 
and I saw their tracks. Their tracks. And I followed them. <laughs> Hi, Sensit. I'm here to help you take care of your little sisters. Oh, well, that's great, Zabu, because here they come now. <laughs> I took care of pets one time. Oh, yeah, Zabu. <laughs> yeah, and it's a lot like taking care of brothers and sisters. Just like pets, they have to be fed, given lots of love and attention. And best of all, they have to be played with. <laughs> play with me! Play with me! Okay, I'll play with you. So Sensit and I played with his little sisters all day long, and we had so much fun. <laughs> the end. Incoming! 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 What? Incoming! Oh! Doc! Oh. Wow! Two visits in one day. It's Moonface. The Barn Owl with another special delivery. Hope it's going okay with all our pets. We're about to return raccoons back to the wild, where raccoons belong. Okay, animal helpers, it's time for them to live free and in the wild. Open it up. But remember, we gotta give them their space. They're wild animals. Bye, raccoons. Have fun in the wild. Oh, yeah, guys. I'll be right there to help you take all the pets back. Bye, raccoons. It's so great that Jackie knows which animals should be wild and which animals should be pets. And it's great she knows which pets belong to which animal helpers, because I think the pets are itching to go home. Oh, yeah. Hey. Jackie! Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Hi. Hey, Goldie. Did you miss me? Well, I missed you. <laughs> well, it sounds like it's time. Time for the pets to go home. All right, everybody, on to the dog sled. Hooba hooba, sounds like a trip. <laughs> to the closet? To, to the, the closet. closet! I'll get the stuff out of the closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the Jack, closet. Jackie, hold it. To grab their stuff and split. How'd she do that? I don't know. All right, pups, wake up, it's time to go. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're Let's go! From the closet and they're headed out the door. Bye, Zob! Bye! See you, Zabu! Bye, guys! Everybody okay back there? Looks like everybody's good. I don't remember this field. Are we lost? Uh-oh. What is it, Blackie? Blackie, of course. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Blackie has an incredible sense of smell, and dogs have an incredible sense of where home is. So Blackie probably knows where to go. Let's follow Blackie. OK, Blackie, lead the way. <laughs> OK, Kath, this way. Follow that dog. Wait for us, Blackie! Hold on, everybody! Hey, Blackie, not too fast. I've got a big load here. <laughs> I think Blackie really does know the way home. Runaway sled! Oh, no! Gotta get that sled! The pets! Ah! Oh. Whoa! Woo ah. Stop! Slow down the sled! Ah. Oh. oh boy! Yeah! Is everybody okay? Yep, everyone's good. <laughs> yeah, it looks like everybody's just fine. Hey, and Blackie did it. He found his home. Jackie, Chris, look! Everybody's here! Hey! Whoa! Hey guys. All right, hey, we have all your pets for you. Whose guinea pig is this? Mine. All right, here you go. We did it! All the pets are back with their kids. Yeah! That was great. Hey, I wonder what Zabu's up to. Okay, go ahead, poop. 
You poop right here. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you, you go poop in here. Okay, let's go through it one more time. A you, lynx kitten. Yeah, this kitten won't do it. No matter how many times I ask him, he won't use the litter box. Remember what you guys said? A kitten uses a litter box. House cats use a litter box because they're pets, but a lynx kitten is a wild creature. So he's not a pet? No. Okay, uh, remember what I said about the litter box? Forget it. You can poop wherever you like. <laughs> <laughs> no, not on my hand. Oh, there he no. Goes. Oh, I can't he's watch. He's gonna poop right there, so I'll just hold it. I'm not watching. <sighs> Oh, you said poop wherever you want. <laughs> Did he poop, Tom? Oh, oh, false alarm. Oh, he peed. <laughs> yeah, he, he just peed. peed. Oh, very nice. A <laughs> lynx <laughs> kitten pee puddle. What a splash. <laughs> he's so cute. I wish he could be my pet. Yeah, but he's a wild animal, Zob. Oh, yeah. When you see a baby lynx kitten like this, he's so cool, you think, oh, I have to have him for a pet. But the truth is, wild kittens belong in the wild. Wild animals need their space. They're not happy unless they have their space. Oh yeah, like me. I like to be in the wild so I can leap, 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 leap. I'd never want to be a pet. I love my space. Living free and in the wild. Hey who, hubba hubba. I love my space. <laughs> Not everybody wants to live in the wild. You want to hear about one time in Zabu land? Well, I was leap, leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, leap, leap. When I felt this rumbling. So, huh, whoa, I leapt into a tree to get a better look. It was Zabumafuasaurus. <laughs> so I asked her, hmm? Zabumafuasaurus, yes, would you like to be somebody's pet? Oh, no, Zabu. I'm way too big to be in somebody's house. And anyway, I like living free and in the wild. Yeah, I do. Hmm. Well, whatever makes you happy. Well, then I left over to see Snow Lemur. Oof. Whoa. Oh, hello, Zabu. Hello, Snow Lemur. Yeah. Would you like to be a pet? Oh, oh no, Zabu. Yeah, I don't know. I, I live on Mount Zabumafu. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh, it's really cold up there, and uh, that's the way I, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Besides, I like living free and in the wild. Yeah, I do. Great. Mm -hmm. Whatever makes you happy. See, Zabu. <laughs> and then... Then I saw a green puppy. Hi, Zabu. Hi, Zabu. Oh, hi, green puppy. I have a question for you. Eh? Would you like to be somebody's pet? Oh, yes, Zabu. Yes, yes, yes. I, uh -huh. I love being a pet because I love being uh -huh. pet. <laughs> so I petted green puppy yes, for, yes. The, for the rest of the day. And she was really, was really happy. And so was I. <laughs> the end. <laughs> I like that story, Zabu. Thanks. And Zabu lands a great place where everyone lives free and in the wild. Zabu, look, an adult lynx. Manga Zika. Hey, she must be the lynx's mom. Oh, she came for a kitten. The best one to look after a wild baby animal is his parents. And no matter how hard we tried, we could never take care of the lynx kitten as well as his mom can. Now that they're together again, they can go back home to the wild. Bye, lynx mom. Bye, Lynx Kitten. I'm glad you don't know how to use kitty litter. <laughs> a pet can be your best friend and make you really happy. But you have to remember that your pet depends on you to take care of her. No, my buddy. She couldn't live without you. But wild animals don't need anybody taking care of them. They're happiest living free and in the wild. Yeah, just remember, whether we're wild or pets, we're all great. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Hey guys, I got a lot more leaping to do today, so I'll see you later. There he goes. And can that lemur leap? Hey Chris, why don't we go on down to Mud Puppy Pond and hang out with the pond creatures? Let's do it. We'll see you later. I'll race you. You're on. Hi, 
Hey, maybe this is my dog Leah. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> Bears. Steady as she goes, Chris. Woo! We made it. Cargo secure, Martin. All secure. Today, we're filling up the animal snack machine. Look at this. We have all kinds of snacks for all kinds of creatures. We have grapes. Grapes. Carrots. Carrots. Watermelon. <laughs> oh. Watermelon. Celery. Hey, you know who loves celery? Yeah, Sabu. Sabu Mafu. Sabu. Where's Zabu? We've been calling him forever. I don't know. Do you see Zabu anywhere? Hmm. Zabu! Chris, look up! <laughs> hey, Zab. You're a pretty sneaky lemur, buddy. Zabu. I'll get Zabu a snack. <laughs> Celery! Zabu, how about celery? <laughs> Here, have this one. Chris, you want a piece? Yeah. There you go. And I'm gonna have a piece too. Give me. Zabu Mafu! You all filled up, Zab? Yeah, I'm Vuki. Celery feels good in my belly. <laughs> Whoa! I'm sitting on top of Snack Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these snacks will last a long time. That's because in Animal Junction, there's a snack for every animal visitor. Pass it over. <laughs> and an animal visitor for every snack. Hey, Zob, toss one in. This one's going right down the hatch. <laughs> the toucan's hatch! <laughs> Eat up, toucan. There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Nice shot, Zob. Thanks. It's a good thing we got a lot of snacks. The animal I saw looked hungry. Really? Who was she? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> he was black and furry all over. A little wobbly, too. So I think he was still practicing using those big, round paws of his. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Bogotska, Bogotska, animal. He had a black nose, a lot like mine. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A black and furry big pod wobbler. Do you know who he is? So let's see. The mystery animal is furry. Yeah, furry and, uh... And he has a black round body. Small ears and a stubby tail. Zabu's talking about... Oh, my God, Sika. The mystery animal's here. Oh. A black bear cub. Manga Sika. A baby bear. Welcome here, bear cub. Yeah, he's a cub. So he's a little shy. <laughs> He's coming over to say hello. This could only happen in Animal Junction. Hey, buddy, how you doing? A four-month-old cub. It'll take him about four more years to become a full-sized bear. And when a bear grows up, he can weigh up to 500 pounds. That's as heavy as a grand piano. He's so round and furry. I'm gonna go give him a big bear hug. Hang on a second, Zabu. You know, in the wild, you should never get too close to baby bears because their mothers are very protective and always close by. And there she is. She's close by, all right. Good mother. Oh, I think maybe the mommy bear wants us to look after the bear cub. <laughs> well, this is the place. Yeah, because Animal Junction is the only place where it's okay to get close to a bear. We'll take good care of you, baby bear. 
white bear cub all the way from his wet bear nose to his short, stubby bear tail behind. Baby bears are a lot like human babies. They have to learn how to do things just like people do. Do you want to help us teach this cub how to do things bear style? I'll teach him how to climb. Watch this. I usually leap and jump when I climb, but I think bear style's a little different. than me. Well, I can't climb at all. Whoa, how'd you get way up there? I love climbing bear style. See those paws? Bears have big paws and sharp claws. Bear feet are perfect for climbing. Bears can climb anywhere. Hey, I have bear feet. I'm climbing bear style too. Whoa! Human bear feet aren't as good at climbing as bear bear feet. Hey, Martin. Yes, sir. I taught him how to climb. Great, Zob. He learned it really fast. <laughs> climbing is one thing that bear cubs learn fast. Did you know that when a black bear is young, he can climb better than he can walk? Well, you should stick with me. The Crack Brothers still need to learn how to climb. Well, they're not as good as us. Yeah. Uh, that's nice. Ooh, bear kisses. <laughs> you really like me. Ooh, hey, you know what I'm going to call you? Muscles, because you're a strong climber. Great name, Zob. Muscles the climber. Hey, Martin, remember when we were creature adventuring in bear country? Yeah, and we saw why black bear cubs are such great climbers. I remember it well. We saw two little bear cubs playing while Mom was out looking for food. But then, all of a sudden, they heard something coming through the woods. <gasps> who was it? Well, they stood on their hind legs to find out who was making the noise. Uh-huh. But they couldn't see anything. So what did they do? They climbed up a tree where they knew they'd be safe. Yeah, climbing, climbing. But who was making the noise? You're never going to guess who was making the noise. Who? It was their mom. Mom? <laughs> and once the cubs saw who it was, they knew they were safe. So they climbed right down to say hi to mom. <laughs> I like that. Come on over, muscles. I've got something for you. Sob, come on down. <laughs> It's bear cub snack time. What are you going to feed him? Milk. Oh. Oh, come on, muscles. Don't be shy. Ooh, he's a noisy eater. Do you hear that? Yeah. You want to make the sound a bear cub makes when he's drinking? Yeah. OK. I bet his mom isn't so messy when she feeds him. <laughs> come on, son. Give me a break. I'm just filling in. I'm not a bear. <laughs> You know, a grizzly bear mom feeds her cubs about four times a day. And black bear cubs, they need a lot of food too. How you doing there? You getting enough? I think he's Wookie, Martin. Yep. He has a little bear belly full of milk. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, over here. Huh? Hey, what's he doing? It's foraging time. Wait for me. Come on, muscles. This bear cub's four months old. That's about the time when he starts to taste food and learn foraging. Foraging means looking for food, and a bear cub learns how to forage from his mom. She'll even teach him how to dig for roots, insects, and other things that are underground. See, there's some corn, there's celery. Do you like celery? I love celery. What do you got? Yeah, try the celery, it's good. So let me forage around and see if I can find anything else the bear thinks is tasty. <laughs> I think Muscles thinks I'm tasty. <laughs> How about a carrot? He's taking a taste. He's taking a carrot? But he's not ready to eat it yet. Right now, he's just taking little tastes of things to see what everything's like. There's got to be something tasty in here somewhere. Oh, no, no, don't bite on me. <laughs> 
Martin's sock? What's a sock? We wear them, Zob. <laughs> on your head? <laughs> like this? No, on our feet. Ugh, stinky. <laughs> that looks good on you, Zabu, but that's my sock. I've been looking for my missing sock. <laughs> Don't worry. Your mom will teach you how to forage for food, not socks. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, 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 that tickles. No, 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 no nibbling. No, no, hey, guys, no, no. let's teach mussels how to forage for catfish. Watch closely, mussels. Here. Martin's sock. My sock! <laughs> Chris cut a sock, not a fish. Hey, mussels, I don't think that's how bears fish, but don't worry. Your mom will teach you how to catch a fish, not a sock. <laughs> bears are natural born swimmers. Swimming is one thing they don't have to learn how to do. Bears swim doggy paddle style and they love fooling around and wrestling in the water. Hey, Muscles, you done already? Muscles is done swimming, and you know what? I feel bearish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel bearish. How about you, bearish? I feel bearish. Whoa! Bearish. Whoa! I'm round and roly poly. I'm a baby black bear. Bearish. Did you hear that? I heard it. Where are you going? A male bear can get grumpy with the cub, so that's why the mother bear teaches her cub to stay out of his way. And that's why the cub climbed up the crow's nest. So even Muscles gives Big Bear his space. I better, too. One lemur cub coming up. Well, it's safer up here, but... Wow, are you really gonna grow up to be as big and strong as him? Well, I guess if I want to get big bear muscles, I better work out. Okay, ready? One, two. Um, is this really how you do bear push-ups? Two. Three. Four. Five bear push-ups. I'm done. I can't do any more. No, 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 don't tickle. No, 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 that tickles my ear. Okay, 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 I'll give. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like the mother bear. Hey, where are you going? It's Mommy Bear. She came to pick up her cub. And there goes the cub. Hey, see you later, buddy. Bye, Bear Cub. She'll teach them bear stuff much better than we can. Back with Mom. That's where he belongs. Living free and in the wild. Bye, Muscles and Muscles Mom. Hey, look at this. He found the snack baskets we brought. I can't believe my mind. I want to eat like that big old bear. <sighs> okay, Zav. First on the bear menu, strawberries. Strawberries. Oh, these are good. Keep packing it in, Zav. Good. Keep on eating, Zav. We have to keep up with the bear. I'm glad I'm eating like a bear. Uh, I can't eat anymore. I'm vookier than vooky. <laughs> My bear belly's busting. <laughs> Mine too. Mine three. Hey, hey, you know what? That reminds me of my buddy, Google in Sabu land. So I was leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap, 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 
when I saw Google. Hello, Google. How are you? And Google said, oh, I'm sad. My Google belly is empty, and I can't find any Google berries to fill it anywhere. I know where some Google berries are. Follow me. So I led Google to a Googleberry patch. Oh, coming. <gasps> See? <gasps> Googleberries! Google was so happy, he started singing. Oh, 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 Googleberries. Googleberries. I love to gobble Googleberries. Googleberries, Googleberries. They fill my Google Google gobbled Google so many Googleberries that his Google belly oh. grew big and round. I said, your belly is full now, Google. And he said, no, we can take a long, long nap. And we did. And Google slept through the whole winter. The end. <laughs> Great story, Zob. I have to try Goobleberry. Well, you have to go to Zabu land to get them. Look, the big bear's still eating. How come bears eat so much? Winter's coming soon, and a bear sleeps through the whole winter. Since they don't eat again until after the snow melts, bears have to fill their bellies now. For a bear, a full belly means it's time to take a long, long nap. Quick, Google. A full bear belly sure makes you sleepy, doesn't it, Martin? <laughs> uh, a full bear belly sure makes you sleepy, doesn't it, Chris? Chris? <laughs> well, trust me, a full bear belly makes you <sighs> very sleepy. Huh? <gasps> oh! Incoming! Hey! Duck! <laughs> you didn't duck fast enough, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a duck, it's Moonface. The barn owl. Yeah, hey Moonface, we ate like bears. Hey, let's see what Jack is up to. Hi guys. My parents and I are camping in bear country. The number one rule with bears is, give bears their space. I love bears, but the best way to see a bear is with binoculars from the car. Look! A big black bear. Remember, give bears their space. Jackie really knows how to act around bears. Huh? The bear's finished filling his belly. He's heading out. He must be going to find a place to sleep for the winter. You want to help him? Yeah. Great. Sounds like a trip to me. Woo! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Whoa! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming go. from the closet and they're headed out the door. Martin, he's going this way. Now where can this bear sleep? Hmm. Hey, our bear could sleep here. Yeah, bears like to sleep in caves and rock crevices just like this. Just like lots of other animals, like a cougar, a porcupine, or a fox. A red fox. Now a red fox's home is called a den. He'll pick a hollow log or cave to live in. It looks like this place is already taken. Let's move on. Hey look, there's another bear. I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's watch. They're wrestling, and it looks like they're having fun. <laughs> Bear wrestling's fun. Back to the search. Hey, how about that log over there? That might work. Checking it out. He's going in. <laughs> he likes it. All right. It looks like the bear finally found a good place to sleep. Yeah, and now that he's got a full belly, he's ready for his winter sleep. <laughs> <laughs>
Sleep well, bear. <laughs> Whoa! Am I tired? Yeah, that bear had the right idea. Winter sleep. Hey, where's Albert? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe he jumped out for a while. Well, he'll be back. <laughs> Just wait for it right here. Kawadis! Hey, brothers! We followed our noses to you. All right. Kawadis are one of the greatest sniffers around. And these little sniffers are sometimes called nose bears. Nose bears, yeah! Well, they have long noses, but wait a second. They don't look anything like bears. Exactly, Zob. That's because kawadis are kawadis, not bears. <laughs> but they climb like bears all over me. Hey, look. What? what? That Kawadi knows found someone else. Let's see who it is. A kinkajou. Kinkajous are sometimes called honey bears. Of course, another bear. She's furry with a long tail. Wait a second. She doesn't look like a bear either. You're right, Zob. A kinkajou's a kinkajou, not a bear. Sometimes people call them honey bears because they like to eat honey. Hmm. Over here! A kinkajou has a long tongue that is great for sticking into beehives and licking out that tasty honey. Wow, look at him go. Ooh. He really does have a long tongue. Hey, Martin, what other bears aren't really bears? Well, you have wolverines who are sometimes called devil bears, but wolverines are really giant weasels. And a wolverine is so strong, she can drag up to five times her body weight. That would be like me dragging Martin. I'm okay. Martin's socks, they're everywhere. Hey guys, a story just dropped into my head from Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. <laughs> Leap, leap, when I heard Narchi and Goobal talking. Been, Goobal? We're taking a long nap. Hi, Zabu. Hi, Narchi. Hi, Zabu. Hi, Goobal. How was your long, long nap? Oh, great, Zabu. Goobal, are you a bear? Well, I don't think so. Because you love oh. to eat berries so much, and you take long naps, too. Oh, but Zabu, <coughs> those aren't just any berries. They're oh, oh, Goobal berries, and only <coughs> Goobal's... Oh, Gobble, Goobal bear. I guess you're right, Goobal. You do some bear things, but you're a Goobal, not a bear. Besides, I can't climb at all. I need Wiggy to help me. I'll help! I'll help! Hey, why don't we climb up Mount Zabumafu to see Snow Lemur? So Wiggy, Goobal, and I went all the way up Mount Zabumafu. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, climbers. Yeah. We made it! Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, Goobal does sound a lot like a bear. Except I'd never heard of a Goobal before. Me neither. Well, you guys need to come to Zabu Land sometime. Martin, your sock! Oh, no! Hey! Come back! Shh! You'll wake the Kinkajou up. Thanks, Zob. But at least I know who's been taking my socks. <laughs> Today was a very great day. I like playing with my pal Muscles, the bear. Yeah, and I love being woken up by the quaddies. Yeah. I liked finding the big black bear a place to sleep for the winter. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, Zabu. Keep on leaping. All right, so the bear cleaned us out. Now we're gonna have to start all over and get more snacks. 
We better bring some warm clothes too. Winter's coming on fast. See you next time. My name's Samantha and this is my dog, Bear. Lit. The more we plant, the better. Yeah, that way when she comes, we'll be all ready for her. Here's the dirt and the grass seed. All right. We planted some grass in Animal Junction, so the African crown crane we've been seeing will fly in for a visit. Yeah, what an African crown crane likes to eat is in here, from the tips of the grass to the yummy insects that live inside. You'd better take off, buddy. We have some grass, but we need a lot more. So let's get back to planting. Oh. Ugh. If only we had horns. Yeah, you can bet that when bighorn sheep butt heads, those big horns really come in handy. Their horns help protect their heads when they headbutt. Do you think we should call Zabu? All right. Zabu! Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Hey, Zabu! Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? See if you can find me, Zab. Zabu, over here. <laughs> Woo. I'll get Zabu a snack. Hey, Zabu! I've got some sweet potato. Want a piece? Keep on munching, buddy. Give me some of the food! Hey! Whoa. Hi, great to see you. All right, Zob. If we grow a lot of grass, we might get an African crowned crane to visit. You want to help us? Yeah, let's plant some grass. Grass. That's what the creatures I saw today were eating. They were eating and playing and having fun. Who could they be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had big, hard toenails. When I saw him, he was jumping around. <laughs> His legs were strong, but springy, springy, springy. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. He liked to go and eat lots of grass. He liked it a lot. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A springy-legged, horny-headed grass eater. Do you know who he is? Okay, let's see. Split hooves makes a ma sound. The horns on the head is the dead giveaway. Sounds to me like... Ghosts! Ghosts. Ah, mystery animals are here! Dig those crazy lids! Ah. An African pygmy goat and her kid. Her kid? A baby goat is called a kid, just like you are. Wow. You want to try a little grass seed? Don't eat too much, though. We need it for the cranes, right? She really likes it. Hey, goats, don't eat all that grass seed. Save some of it for the crowned crane. He'll be hungry, too. Look at those spiky horns on her head. Manga Chica. Spikes. I love them. And the kid has two popping up, too. Oh, yeah. You know, a goat's horns never stop growing, kind of like your fingernails. Different creatures have amazing things on top of their heads. Fur feathers horns. They're the amazing creature lids. Feathery lids. Loose skin lids, horn lids, spiral lids, branch lids. All kinds of lids for all kinds of creatures. I can't believe my mind. This is really flipping my lid. <laughs> guys, guys, look, more goats. It's a goat invasion. Wow, they must have smelled all the grass growing in Animal Junction. 
Come on in. The more lids, the merrier. <laughs> goats and sheep, too. These goats are making themselves right at home in Animal Junction. I think Animal Junction just turned into Sheep and Goat Junction. <laughs> What's he doing? That baby goat is drinking milk from his mother's, huh? Oh, yeah. But how do you know he's a goat and not a sheep? The way you tell a difference between a goat and a sheep is to look at their chin. Goats usually have beards, and sheep usually don't. Oh. OK, OK, I get it. So that's a goat. Because he's got a beard. And that's a sheep, see? No beard. Right on, Zob. We're a herd of sheep and goats. Mangatsika, I bet I can make it sound like a little goat. Want to hear me? Okay. <laughs> the brothers, they're eating all the grass. Whoa, maybe I should get this out of the way. Goats and sheep love eating grass and plants. And we're gonna need this grass for the crown crane. But we'll get you guys some of your favorite food from the snack machine. In fact, goats will eat just about anything, including my T-shirt. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You want to eat my T-shirt? <laughs> That's what happens when you get in the way of a Barbados ram. Well, we don't want to get in his way, but if we don't get to the snack machine and fast, the goats and sheep are going to eat everything we planted. Uh-oh. Better hurry up, guys. You're right, Zabubafu. Come on, Chris. To the snack machine. OK, good food. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I think the snack machine's broken. Hold on a second. I think maybe we just need a little adjustment here. I hope this works, Martin. Okay. Mm. Uh-oh. The snack machine's really broken. Whoa. The goats and sheep really like those plants. Maybe we could put the plants somewhere where the sheep and goats can't get it until we fix the snack machine. Good idea, Zop. Might as well give it a try. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's one. The grass will be safe there. Another one. Going up. Gotta get at that grass before you guys eat it all. Oh, you guys make a mess. <laughs> oh, we gotta be here you go, Chris. All right, pass it right over. Thanks. Don't worry, we'll fix the machine. Then you'll have lots of snacks to eat. All right, another one's up. Way to go. Here you go, Chris. All right, going up. OK, back to the snack machine. OK. All right, Zob, you watch the plants. We'll fix the snack machine. Sure, no problem. No goats will get up here. It'll be easy. Here. They found the grass. How did you get up here? Wild goats are gray climbers, Zob. Well, how do they do it? They've all got broken feet. Well, their feet aren't broken, Zob. That's how they're supposed to be. Goats and sheep have split hooves, and that helps wild goats climb up steep, rocky cliffs. Really? Yeah. And baby goats and sheep, like baby doll sheep that live in the wild, practice climbing when they're really young so they can get around in the mountains where they live. Baby go climb up here. Oh, hi there. You out? <laughs> yes, he can. I can't believe my mind. Goats are incredible. Putting the plants high is not going to work. We just have to fix that snack machine and fast. Yeah, yeah. We better get that snack machine fixed really soon because the sheep and goats are really hungry. Hey, baby goat, watch out for the edge. 
bridge. Guys, guys, hurry! Watch it, baby goat's gonna fall! Whoa, we have to save the kid before that happens. I'll get him! Chris, the kid! What a leap! He's okay because baby goats are great leapers. Big male rams aren't always nice to baby goats. Or to Martin. <laughs> Remember what happened to Martin when that Barbados ram butted him? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely have to give rams their space. Different creatures use their horns for different things, besides just pushing other creatures around. A moose can use his lid to scratch an itch on his foot. Chris, Martin, sheep and goats are still eating the grass. The snack machine still isn't working. And, uh-oh, the grass is almost all gone. They eat more than anyone I know. And I know some big eaters. Whoa, that's my tail. You're not supposed to eat that. Guys, can't you fix this snack machine? Look out for the ramp. Whoa! <laughs> 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 wow, pointy head. You remind me of my friend Noggin Drill from Zabu Land. I was leaping <laughs> along. Leap, leap, leap. When I heard my friend Noggin Drill. Hey, Google, let's dance. Google okay. was there too. Oh, okay, Noggin Drill. I hopped over to say hello. Hello, Google. Oh, oh hello, Noggin Drill. Oh, Zabu. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, we're going to dance. You want to join us? Oh, yeah. Show me your moves. Okay, watch this. <laughs> oh, my turn. Oh. Oop, step ball change. <laughs> this is great. Hey, guys, how about this move? Wow, the super-duper lid spin. And everyone came from near and far to see Noggin Drill's new dance move. Oh, that was amazing. That's amazing. Noggin Drill, that was a great move. Oh, thanks, Abu. Everybody danced and celebrated because of Noggin Drill's super-duper lid spin. Yes. Do it again, Noggin Drill. Yeah, do it again. The end. <laughs> Could you do the super duper lid spin too? With those horns, huh? What's that? Sometimes the snack machine is a little temperamental. This ought to do it! I think it's working. Pretty soon you're gonna be Vuki. You'll have all kinds of yummy, delicious food. <laughs> Guys, do you really think it'll work? Let's try it. <laughs> Ready? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's right! She's gonna blow! Whoa! The snack machine's really broken this time! Whoa! <laughs> it's raining snacks! My favorite kind of rain. Come and get it, Lids! <laughs> well, it looks like it's the goat and sheep's favorite kind of rain, too. <laughs> Look at that munch! Mangatsika! They like the food from the snack machine. Yeah, like I said, goats and sheep will eat just about anything. That guy loves the apples. <laughs> hey, they really like the corn, huh? Yeah. Hey, these guys are using their lids. They're <laughs> pushing each other out of the way to get food. If you're going to try to eat with a sheep, you need good protective headgear like they have. Going in. Good luck, Chris. Oh, those sheep know how to use their hands at the yep. top. Yep. Thank you. Oh. That little goat's trying to help you, Chris. It's a good thing I have this helmet on. These sheep have strong heads. <laughs> okay, you win. Whew. Come on, Google, let's butt heads too. No, 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 I don't no, no, think so. No, 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 no. All these lids are making me feel goatish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel goatish. How about you, goatish? I feel goatish. Goatish. 
I'm a pointy-headed goat, but I feel sheepish too. Goatish. Hey guys, guess who's here? Hey Bradley. Hey. How are you doing? Come on in. He's with a border collie. Border collies can learn to round up sheep. <laughs> Come on, Chip. Come on, Bradley. So, you wanted some help getting your goats and sheep? We fed them up for you, Bradley. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Bradley, your dog, Trim. Hey, hey Trim. Hey. Don't forget Baby Goat. He's here. Bradley, don't forget this little goat. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye, Bradley. See you, Trip. Bye, sheep. Bye, goats. You know, it was great hanging out with the goat and sheep all morning. And we still have grass left for the African crowned crane. Yeah! <laughs> Incoming! Duck! Duck. It's Moonface. The barn owl mm -hmm. with a special delivery. I can't believe all the incredible creatures I saw today. And they all had amazing lids. Like a banana slug. Those things that look like horns are called antennae. Then I saw a luna moth. Look at those amazing antennae. A luna moth's antennae can help him smell. In fact, a male luna moth can smell a female luna moth from miles away. Wow, if I can smell something that far, I'd be able to smell my pie from... from farther than here. Even farther than here. And I'd be able to smell my pie from even farther than here. Yep, if I were a Luna Moth, I'd probably be able to smell my pie all the way from here. Okay, I have a great idea. Let's go out into the wild to see horns, antlers, and all sorts of other lids. To the closet. Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on. Are you the ready? Trip. Let's go. They're going to the closet to <laughs> grab their stuff and split. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Binoculars. They always come in handy. See you, Zabu! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. All right, let's go and find out what those animals are doing with their lids. We have ours! <laughs> Chris, look out for that rock! What rock? Whoa! Oh. Are you okay, Chris? Yeah, no problem. My helmet protected my head. Yeah, just like his horns are protecting his. Pronghorn oh, antelope. Incredible. Hey, and look at them lid wrestle. Pronghorn antelope fight with their horns to find out who's the most powerful male. They fight hard, but they don't hurt each other because those horns lock into each other, keeping them from banging their heads too hard. Just like my helmet protected my head when I hit the ground. Lid wrestling's over, and now everyone can get back to grazing. And we can get back to riding. Don't forget your lid, Chris. No way. All right. Hey! All right, Martin? Yeah, thanks to my lid. Ooh, but I do hear a cracking sound. That cracking sound's not coming from in your head. It's coming from their heads. Moose. And moose use their antlers to fight for females, just like the pronghorns do. It looks rough, but moose antlers are also designed to protect their heads when they fight, so no one gets hurt, just like my helmet.
Moose are so cool and so big. And getting even bigger because he's heading right towards us. Oh my gosh. Maybe he wants to headbutt us. I know, but I don't think our animals will stand a chance against his antlers. You're right, bro. We better get back to Animal Junction. I'm right behind you. Woo. Our helmet sure came in handy today. Oh, yeah. So, Grace, you think our plan worked? I don't know. Sounds pretty quiet in there. Let's check it out. Come on. Hey, guys, guess who's here? An, An African, African crown crane. crane. All right. Are you sure you don't want any more? Hey, <laughs> our plan to get the African crown crane to visit Animal Junction worked. How long has it been here, Zod? Well, ever since you guys left. Yeah? Yeah. Did you like the grass? Oh, he ate and he ate and he ate and then he ate some more. Wow. Right. An African crown crane stomps around in the grass to scare up insects to eat. When the insects fly or jump away, the crane catches them with his long beak. But that's not all. He also loves to eat the seeds at the tips of the grass. And he ate a lot of seeds while you guys were gone. <laughs> We've made a new animal friend. <laughs> I can't believe my mind. I've never seen anything like what's on his head. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's called a crowned crane. And I'm called Wiggy Waxwing Bob! <laughs> That sound like the crown crane. Almost. Uh, I remember when Chris and I were on the savannah of Africa, and we saw African crown cranes, and they would fly high straight up into the air. And then we saw why the cranes were flying. A cheetah was on the prowl. Now, cheetahs might mean danger to cranes, so the cranes flew to another spot. Yeah, the cheetah was just passing by. Once the cranes knew they were safe, they had a drink. Chris, he's standing on one leg. When a crane wants to go to sleep, he just tucks his head under his wing and stands on one leg. Well, that's easy. I can go to sleep on one leg. Try it, Sob. Well. It would be easy if I could go to sleep. <laughs> well, Sab, why don't you just close your eyes and pretend you're asleep uh. and try to stand on one leg for as long as you can. Oh, okay. You want to try it too? Uh. Great. Okay. Yeah. Oh, monk, monk, sick. This is really hard for a lemur. Uh, it's a lot easier for a crowned crane. Uh, 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 oh. Oh. It's harder than it looks, isn't it, Sab? Yeah. And it makes me think of a story. <laughs> okay. One time in Zabu land, I was leap, leaping along. Leap, <laughs> leap, 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 leap. And I was having so much fun that I wanted everybody to jump around with me. Hello, Google, I said. Hello, Noggin Drill. Oh, Watch your hand. Uh, hello, Zabu. Hello, Zabu. Let's jump around. Oh, jumping. Oh, I'm a great jumper. I can catch a lot of air. Watch. Watch. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -oh. oh, and I love jumping, too. Watch this. Noggin Drill jumped up, but he didn't come back down. Hey, get me down. My lid's stuck in this tree. I'm coming, Noggy. Oh, oh, thanks, Zabunafuasaurus. No Whoa. problem. Why don't you hop on, and we'll jump around together. And that's what we did. Wow. Ready? <laughs> the end. Oh, did you like my hang time? <laughs> I think the crane liked your story, Zabu. I like today. I especially love the kids. Kids like you and kids like the goats. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! Hi guys. See you later, Zabu. Keep on leaping. Hey, Mark, let's snap on our helmets and go mountain biking. Oh, yeah, and we'll see you later, OK? All set. Eat all the grass you want, Crane! <laughs>